Okay, today I'm going to run you through an introductory to faster EFT. I get many people when they're working with themselves, they get stuck with what to say and they don't know how to move forward. So today I'm going to do a video to help you with that. It's called Pam on Tap. So whenever you get stuck, whenever you have an issue that you want to work through, you can just put this video on and tap along with me. Okay, so first I want to say it is up to you to take care of your own health. I am not a doctor, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a psychologist. So you must take 100% ownership for your well-being and you take care of yourself. That being said, the first thing we need to do is find out how we know we have an issue. Is it a memory that you can see? Is it just something that you feel? You have feelings that don't feel so good? Um, is it words that you hear or whole sentences? Your mum's in your head or, or your ex is in your head. Just them things that you hear. Or it could be a smell or there could be some taste associated with it as well. So you need to find out what it is you want to work on, okay? And when you find it, okay, this is what I want to work on, then you rate it 0 to 10, okay? So you give it a rating 0 to 10, 10 being really high and strong and normally a negative emotion, 0 positive. Happy, feeling good. Okay, so give it a rating 0 to 10. So you've got the problem now. Okay, so now we're going to tap. And we start with our, our, our eyebrow, releasing and letting go. All sadness, all fears, all emotional traumas, all anger, resentments and guilts, all judgment, abandonments, betrayals, releasing and letting go, all helplessness, all hopelessness, all feelings of no control and everything else. It is safe to let it go. Then we grab the wrist. Take a nice big deep breath. Breathing out. And peace. Now really make sure you get to that peaceful place. Don't just say the word peace. Think of something that makes you peaceful. And go to that space. That's it. Peace. Okay. Now what you do is you check back in with the, the problem that you had. So checking back in, give it another rating. Has it gone up? Has it gone down? If it's gone up, get excited. That means you're associating more with the problem. It is not a bad thing. It is a good thing because sometimes we fear associating with it because it's hurtful or it's, it's upsetting or it just doesn't feel good. So if you're feeling it stronger, it means it's going to release quicker. So get excited about that. Okay, if it's gone down, excellent. And if it hasn't moved at all, notice how you feel about it not moving. Does it mean it's never going to move? Does it mean um, that you're frustrated, you're angry? What is it you're feeling that it's not going down? And you can tap on that. And you can also add in, get really specific with what it is you're tapping with. Make sure that it's not global, I want to lose weight. That's far too global. It's like you want to make healthier choices or you want to get more active. That's more specific. That's what I'm talking about. So just find your problem, get more specific and we'll tap again. Okay, the second round, we just say letting it go. Letting it all go. That feeling right there, the images, the sounds. Releasing and letting it all go. It is safe for me today to let this go. Grab the wrist. Nice big deep breath. Breathing out. And peace. Excellent. Okay, we're going to do one more round. Okay, releasing and letting go. All shame. I add shame in every single time. I believe shame is the cancer to self-esteem and self-worth. Releasing all regrets, all remorse, 
stress, anxiety, whatever it is I'm feeling, all my emotions, it is safe to let it go today. Grab the wrist, take a big deep breath, blow it out, and peace. Now you go back to your issue, you check in again. Now if it's a zero, you've got to make sure that that makes you feel good about it. You know, you've got to feel good about it, not just, oh, neutral, numb. So if it's just numb or it's like zero, try to make yourself feel good about it. Maybe it's learnings that you got from it. Maybe it's changing the image. Maybe it's changing the words to something different. But make sure you feel really good about it. And if it's not finished yet, you have the opportunity to rewind this and play it through again until you get to a point where you do feel good about it. So this is the intro to Faster EFT, the quick tap process. Enjoy.